Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 218. Before we play with some custom number formats, I was talking to a medical billing group this morning about getting custom reports for their clinics. If you're in a similar situation and want to really upgrade the kind of reports you can give to your practices, let's talk. Before we get to the custom uh, date formats I wanted to talk to, after I recorded the last video, I thought, you know, there's one more thing I had to show you, and it's here you go to more number formats and as soon as not as soon as you get to number you can get it number in currency but not in accounting so either in number or currency see this red I've got a negative number over here and if you want it to go red when it goes negative you can do that right now you can it'll just go negative or in the number side it'll just go negative you can put a the negative number in parentheses like this either here or in currency or you can make it red or you can make it red and in parentheses it's kind of your call and if you do it it'll look something like that and it's just an easy way if you've got a list of numbers and something like that it's really easy to flag oh my goodness there's the negative one and track those separately if you want to as opposed to just putting the negative in front like Excel usually does and again I just got that from more number formats and either number or currency that's where you find the, the um, switch it to red Okay, the thing I wanted to show you today is I've got December 25th typed in here. When I did, Excel said 25 dash December, and that may be the way you want it. It may not be. If you want to change it to include the year or include the day and the year, you can do that. Or if you want something more custom than that, what you can do is you can go to more number formats and go to custom, and you'll see the date stuff starts down here, and they've got a couple of them set up from when I was playing with them before. And you'll see if you scroll through here, there's all kinds of custom formats. See the red here? This is what's turning numbers red. This is what's putting um, negative numbers in brackets and in red. I'm not sure we need to go through all the custom stuff for these because a lot of these number formats are available in Excel. But these guys over here are where we can really start to play. So what I'm going to do is take that away and remember, we're looking at, let's just drag this out of the way just for a second, 12-25-2011. Here's the kind of things you can do. The D is the, the character or the symbol for the day part of the date. So if I do 1D or 2, I get 25. And just to show you the difference here, we'll make this December 2nd. Or, yeah, well, well, wrong one, wrong one. I want to change this. Let's do, let's do this. Let's do 1-1, one, one, and then you'll be able to see both of them. So there's January 1st. And then we'll come back here, and this may be a little bit easier to see. So I'm in Custom. And back over, we're going to get rid of this and just do D. So 1D says, give me a one-digit date for dates that only have one digit like 1. And if I have 25, it'll show the whole date. If you do 2D, see the difference? It'll put a zero if it's a single digit day. If it's 25, it'll just show you 25. 3D says, no, I'm going to go figure out what day of the week that is and abbreviate it to SAT. And 4Ds is Saturday. So you can play with how that's displayed. And you could do something like Saturday. And then if I do DD, I could do Saturday 01 or just Saturday the 1st. And then do a comma. And then I could do, um, let's put the month in there now that we've played with that. See, I, I wanted you to see that I could do four Ds and then another D. I can use Ds multiple times in my custom date format. Here's what the M does. One is the first day of the month, oh, or excuse me, the first month of the year. Oh, one is the same rule. If it was November, it'd show one, one. Any month with single digits, it's going to show oh, one. Then three Ms is going to abbreviate January, and four Ms is going to spell it, out, spell it out. So I can do, now I've got Saturday, January 1st. I can put a comma in there, and then the Ys. I can either get the two digit or as soon as I get to three, I'm going to get four digits. Three and four is the same. So I can do Saturday, January 1st, or I could do something like one and then three digit month, January, or I could add the year. There's all kinds of things you can do once you know that D is the date component and you just decide how many D's I'm going to use. One, two, three, or four D's. Decide how many M's I'm going to use. One, two, three, or four M's. And then either, uh, as soon as you get over three, you're going to get the full year. So if you're worried about the Y2K thing in 2011 or 2012, you can do that. 
But that's what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you how the M's, the D's, and the Y's work together to get a custom date format. So you're not just limited to this. You can make this work however you want and get exactly the date you want as opposed to being stuck with just that or that. That's what I wanted to show you today, how to make negative numbers go red from more number formats and either number or currency. And I also wanted to show you the custom down here where we can change the dates with D, M, and Y to make this do exactly what you're looking for. I hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Oh,